हेलो एवरीवन ऑल विल ओपन हिस्ट्री बुक लेसन नंबर टू द एज ऑफ रेवोल्यूशंस प्रीवियसली वी हैड डिस्कस्ड द टॉपिक्स द अमेरिकन रेवोल्यूशन एस्टेब्लिशमेंट ऑफ ब्रिटिश कॉलोनीज इन अमेरिका कॉजेज ऑफ अमेरिकन रेवोल्यूशन नाउ टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ग्रेट थिंकर्स एंड फिलोसफर्स एंड द बिगनिंग ऑफ द रेवोल्यूशन सो ऑल विल ओपन पेज नंबर ट्वेंटी ऑफ द बुक Topic is there great thinkers and philosophers. Now, first of all, the word philosopher. Philosopher means a person who has developed a set of ideas and beliefs about the meaning of life. That is known as philosopher. Now, before starting the reading, let us discuss few points. Earlier, we had discussed the causes of the American Revolution. Now, let us further explore some more causes of the American Revolution. the american revolutionaries were also inspired by the ideas of the philosophers like john locke voltaire and rousseau john locke was also called the father of liberalism and he believed that the power comes from the people and these all thinkers believed that human beings had certain fundament fundamental rights which no government had right to disobey so now let us begin up with the reading great thinkers and philosophers like thomas jefferson thomas paine john locke and john milton inspired people to rise and fight against the repressive colonial rule repressive means that limits people's freedom so thomas jefferson stated that american people has a right to revolt against the unjust government unjust means unfair here i want to add thomas jefferson was one of the prime american thinkers and was deeply inspired by the ideas of the french philosophers of that time so jefferson asserted the colonists right to rebellion and encouraged their increasing desire for independence so he drew up the american declaration of independence which stated that all men were equal and had certain rights now let us continue thomas paine guided people through pamphlets and articles on the same john locke propagated that all men are equal and they have same rights propagated means spreaded or prasarit karna these intellectuals prepared the americans to fight against the british rule here the word intellectuals means the persons who think deeply now the next topic is the beginning of the revolution how did the revolution begin beginning of the revolution finally the americans protest led to a famous incident of boston tea party the boston tea party was a direct action protest by colonists in boston against the british government on december 16 1773 after the officials in boston refused to return three ship loads of text tea to britain a group of colonists boarded the ship and destroyed the tea by throwing it into boston harbor boston harbor is a place in the eastern part of united states of america the incident remains an iconic event in american history and has often been referenced in other political protest and boston tea party was against the british government now let us proceed up with the reading the british government wanted to prove that british parliament had the right to tax the colonies tax means revenue it um, it imposed duties on tea in 1773 imposed means put on duties means taxes and this was sharply criticized by the colonists 
they refused to unload a tea consignment from china at the boston harbor refused means denied and unload means to take the things to have been transported out of a vehicle consignment here means delivery and harbor harbor is a place on the coast where ships can be tied up and protected from the sea this is the define of harbor the colonists protested in a very unique way they dressed up as red indians boarded the ship and threw 342 crates of tea into the sea this incident is known as the boston tea party the british government regarded it as an open revolt and hence closed the boston port and cancelled all the rights of the local council they sent troops to suppress the revolt troops means soldiers and suppress means stop thereafter the colonists prepared themselves for a fight and this is all about the boston tea party now the next is philadelphia congress 1774 this was one another major event that shook the foundation of the british empire and the name of this event was philadelphia congress 1774 in 1774 the representatives of 13 colonies called the meeting of the first continental congress at philadelphia Philadelphia is a place in United States of America. The Congress passed the Declaration of Rights and Grievances appealed for the removal of the restriction on the trade. So the declaration drawn by the representatives asserted the British Parliament has no right to tax the colonies without their consent. Now let us begin up with the reading. The representatives of all the colonies gathered at Philadelphia. It is a place in United States of America. Yesterday we had discussed about the British colonies. One of the colonies, one of the colony was Pennsylvania. We have seen in the map also. Come to the previous page. page number 25 here this place this is pennsylvania and all the colonies gathered at that place in 1774 this is known as philadelphia congress and the representatives condemned the laws passed by the british government condemned mean complete disapproval of they prepared a petition and demanded withdrawal of all the acts passed since 1765 now here the word is petition petition is basically a written document signed by many people that ask government to do or change something that is known as or that is termed as petition so according to this petition they demanded the withdrawal of all the acts passed since 1765 and this was the olive branch petition next one the british government refused to withdraw the acts but on the other hand british government refused and they told that they are not going to withdraw these acts this led to the declaration of war against england declaration of independence 1776 at second continental congress in 1775 the british colonists passed a resolution for the formation of an army under the leadership of george washington and they decided to fight for their independence so 
on July 4, 1776, the colonists announced the Declaration of Independence. Now let us begin up with the reading. The representatives of all the colonies once again met at Philadelphia. Again the meeting held. They adopted the Declaration of Independence and it was written by Thomas Jefferson. The declaration is considered as Magna Caruta. Now this is a new term for you. Magna Caruta of American Independence. Come to the previous page. Page number 24. Here the term is given. Magna Caruta. Fundamental law guaranteeing rights and liberties. Now come back to page number 27. It opened the part of democracy and nationalism. Now the word nationalism means feeling of love and pride for one's country in America throughout the world. It clearly stated that the supreme source of power was with the people. Means complete power lies in the hands of the people. It enabled Americans to fight their war of independence. The colonies had all the rights to be free and independent. The declaration was based on the principle that people have the right to set up their own government. Now people had got the right to set up the government of their own. It served as a great blow to imperialism. Now the word imperialism means, this is again the important term, a political system in which Rich and powerful country controls other countries or colonies. That is termed as imperialism. And it encouraged revolutionary movements throughout the world. Although the war was between the colonies and the England, other countries also got involved. Now many of the countries got involved in the war. France was a major ally to the colonies. Here the word ally. Ally is again the important term. That means a country that has an agreement to support the another country, especially in the war. That is termed as ally. And it helped the freedom. It helped the Americans fight for, the, for their freedom. I hope it is clear to all.